Don, what are we doing today? We're in Marion County, Oregon today, Andrew, and we're gonna see a waste energy facility. Garbage turning into electricity. Today's your day that you've been waiting for to talk trash. Gonna love that green stuff, trash talk. Something like that, anyway, it sounds fun. Hi, Ross. Morning, gentlemen. Hello, Ross. Good to see you. And welcome to Kavantha Energy in Brooks, Oregon. The Waste to Energy plant is an exciting place where refuse is turned into renewable energy. The facility is operated by Kavanta, a worldwide energy company with facilities in Europe, Asia and the Americas. The concept is simple, bringing garbage from the community, sort it, load it into burners, let it heat up water, which turns into steam, which turns a generator which makes electricity. With high-tech scrubbers, the smoke generated is mixed back into the ash and very little is released into the atmosphere. Russ from Kavanta is here to show us how it works. So what is this Houston Space Center, Austin Powers set? I mean... It's, it's close. Really, what we're looking at is our two processing units here at the facility. Built in 1985, started up in 1986 and then we've been upgrading and running the process since that time. Not old like you. No, no. but it <coughs> reminds me of Star Wars in the 1980s. Oh, stop. Oh my God, stop. look at all the butt. This is an Austin Powers set, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> That's right. All right, so guide me through it. Doctor. Upgrade. Can we play with something? Can we push a button? <laughs> this is number one processing unit, number two processing unit, all of our water, and then our power generation is on the end. Each one of these processing units can process up to 275 tons of waste a day. And that produces about how much megawatts? This facility can process enough waste and electricity to power about 7,000 homes continuously. Really the process has been in Europe for years. So the Europeans were first again? Again. Hey, no, no trash talk out of here. <laughs> Carry on. If we follow the process on through, we take that waste, we push it out onto this great surface where we burn the waste. We're burning at about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. We make steam out of it. So all of that the area is surrounded with tubes of water. So we take that water to steam, and then that steam we collect into, into uh, uh, piping systems and direct it towards our generator where we make electricity. All of the ash that comes off the grate goes into an ash discharger where it's cooled in a water bath and then it's hydraulically pushed out onto a conveyor system to go out to our ferrous metal collection area. We collect out about 60 to 80 tons a week of ferrous metal that are sold, over 5,000 tons a year. Then we take all of that air that we use to burn that waste and go out into emission controls and then up our stack or our exhaust from the facility. What do you think of that then, Squire? <clears throat> I think we're on. I think we're onto something here. You this did is a significant waste of energy. Oh my gosh, Andrew! For a long time, it was a, a real controversial subject. People just didn't believe it. Oh that? my gosh! What's going on? I think you tripped an alarm. <laughs> you scared me. I thought you pushed a button. I'll push your button in a minute, pal. <laughs> Well, it's not raining men here, it's raining garbage. And this is where it arrives. This guy, Todd. Hi, Todd. How are you? Good. It's the operator here, and apparently I'm gonna have a go at this, but this, Todd, is quite an interesting experience. I mean, what exactly are you doing with this stuff, other than lifting it into the air? Uh, mixing the garbage when it comes, when it's being dumped from the truck, picking it up, Spreading it out over the, my, my table here. and then that Right down here in front of you? Yes, that's my table here. You like your job then? Oh, yeah. That's How much job. do you like it, Tom? <laughs> ah, pretty good. A lot? Well, you yeah. You get to sit and play with those controls and Tonka toys and it's yeah. wonderful. What is the weirdest thing you've ever seen dumped down there? Probably a uh, deer or a cow. A deer or a cow. Uh, how would a deer or a cow get into this facility in the first place? Probably one of the guys picking up alongside the road somewhere. Oh, I'll just killed. throw this antelope and this cow in <laughs> with my garbage and we'll go down to the recycling plant. Yes. Okay. So I've got to fluff this thing now, right? I've got to pick up a pile of this. 
and like fluff it to make sure there's no tree stumps or dead animals. Yes. Pick it up there. Just pick it up and then we're going to fluff this. Yeah. It's not that difficult. <laughs> Where do you want me to take this up to? The number two hopper. Right number there. two hopper. You've really got to concentrate on this, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, now in. Okay, go ahead and release it. Oh, there that felt right so good. <laughs> You're a very, very decent man, Todd. I really, uh, I've really enjoyed this time with you. It's kind of warm and fuzzy. Yes, it's a good time. Russ, this air is just so good to breathe. It has to be healthy for you. All the nutrients just emanating. Yeah. You know the good thing about that? Is we're bringing all this waste into this building to make green power out of it. About 130 trucks a day, mainly Monday through Friday. On the weekends, we receive minimal deliveries, but we operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Wow. And over a half a million tons a day as well. What's the weirdest thing? you've ever seen in this pile of garbage. I guess the strangest thing I would say was when department stores brought in a lot of mannequins. Oh my gosh! And you saw arms and legs sticking out of the pile. It's oh kind of gosh. strange. Andrew, you were grappling garbage. You were shoveling garbage. What's it feel like to have something to do with producing electricity today? It's right here. You're looking behind us, about 57,000 volts of power going out to Portland General Electric. Brilliant. They pay about $65 a megawatt for that power, roughly six and a half million dollars a year. You helped make that money today. I did. I'm proud. <laughs> You're proud of me, Russ. I am. You did a good job. I did a great job. This is what makes some of this so exciting for so many people. To take that concept of garbage, to take that disused television, whatever it might be, and turn it into this clean energy source, it's brilliant. And it's green.